Hi everyone. There are lots of, I guess, lots of fascinations on these international diesel engines that start on gas. How do they actually work? What, what kind of care do you have to give them? They do have head cracking problems, right? How do you prevent that? I've got to try my best to answer all these questions on this video. As you can see, these engines have a carburetor, a simple a sm a gas tank, a distributor magneto, just like a gas engine has. And this, and the injection pump on, on, uh, on the other side. Now, they can, they, they can pull in their own weight and gas, but the, uh, they're just designed, they, they're just designed to start on gas. Their full diesel engine must be taken care of as such. The secret, how it all works, the secret is in the head and the intake manifold. Here is a cylinder head. It's, I believe this is a WD9 one. But they're all, all the gasoline starting international engines use the same design. Here's your exhaust valve, here's your intake valve, but there's one third valve. These don't reciprocate. They are open in starting mode, and they're clo closed in on, on diesel. Where you, you can't run a, a gas engine at 16 to 1 compression, you can't run gas on no compression. So you can't. The, the decompression does not re release the compression, but it lowers it by it. In, in these are chambers, or extra chambers that. Uh, Enlarge the combustion chamber to achieve a lower compression ratio, and by the plugs being under here, the diesel doesn't bother them. Here's the WD6 intake manifold for MD. There, same thing. As you can get, it's just a regular. You see, there's a port there that goes to your carburetor. And these, this, these are your main ports. When it's on diesel mode, these butterflies are wide open, and on gas, they close, and it forces the air to go through the carburetor. And these ports here are actually actually come from the carburetor. The, the diesel engine, these go through the intake valves. Just like these, this does, these ports do and just like this does, but when this is shut off, it has to go through here. And this is where your air fuel mix goes to allow it to run on gas. In the, on this end of this, uh, the intake manifold, there's an ignition switch in here. This is for a magneto. The, the battery ignition ones have a different switch, but and it just cuts the power off on the distributors on the magneto that just grounds off, off your magneto so your mag, mag can't put out. Rev for the carburetor. There, there are no adjusting screws on them. What you get, what you get on these. Here's the spark plugs for them. They're special long reach. You can't use anything else but and the IH recommends changing them out every time you rebuild the engine. So you don't change these off and they don't give much trouble. As for care, check your antifreeze every day. You should be able to reach it with your finger. If you can't reach it with your finger, you don't have enough. And I can, I add some to it. Injection pump. 
this is the oil level on it, and this is the drain. And every time you change the oil on the diesel engine, you change the oil in the injection pump, and the injection pump is uses the same oil you use in the diesel engine. Use a good heavy-duty diesel oil in them because they're a heavy-duty engine. I use 1540 diesel engine oil in them. This, there's a little fuel gut in my pump. They need to change oil in the injection pump, but you check the oil level in these daily is what they're supposed to do. And sadly, I admit I don't, but that you're supposed to. You check the engine oil, they always have a dipstick on them. The diesels always have a dipstick on them. Yeah, that's a little over full, but there's oil in it. Needs a change. That your maintenance is the same, pretty much the same on your gas. Other than that, oh, and on these, the next to grease nipple on here, you gotta get when you service it. Okay, to start one of these tractors on gas. Turn your ignition on if you got it. Tractors with Magneto do not have a, an ignition switch they got on. And then you put your uh, compression lever in low. Then you start just like a gas tractor. <laughs> Okay, when you shut these off, pull it back on the gas. See, I shut the throttle off on the diesel, and then you just bend the get diesel out of it, and then you shut it off. Uh, by, by putting it on high compression again, the, between the between, between this, this is actually what shuts it off the throttle. When you put these to work, don't put them to work cold. Get in the greener, at least the D in cold, before you put them to work. If you put them to work hot, cold, you, you may crack a head. If you shut them off hot, you'll definitely crack it. You have to get when you're done your day's work. Where when you're done working them hard, you let, let them idle for about five minutes or so. And never let them run hot. And when you, leave, when you shut these engines off, make sure your decompression is, on, is high. Make sure your, your starting valves are closed because what happens on low compression, your valves are open in the heat, in the combustion chambers may warp those valves, okay, if those, and then it will miss fire on diesel. So make sure you're always in high compression when you're shut off. Okay, and in, in the gasoline mode, I put it in low gear. And the, and the, the gas, you actually get enough power on gas.
gas to actually move the tractor. But it's just to run them on diesel. So we'll put them on diesel. Our head's a problem on these. Well, they say, say so, but there are four, it was four things you could do to prevent that. Number one is you make sure you're full of antifreeze. Number two is you never put them to work cold. Number three is never shut them off hot. And number four is never let them run, run hot. Those four things. If you do those four things, you don't have to worry about cracking your head on these tractors. You have the cracks usually strictly due to abuse. And the, these are good engines, there's nothing wrong with them. I, I never, should you be scared to buy one of these diesel tractors? No, not at all. Not if you look after them properly. If you look after them properly, uh, this W450 diesel will use less, will use probably less than half the fuel of its gas counterpart. So it's worth having one around. Well, thank you for watching. You have a good day.